I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. First off, Happy New Year. We are officially in 2020. I hope everybody had an amazing 2019 and I hope you have big plans for this new year. I know what I have plans for, hemp and hemp products. Speaking of products, remember I said I was gonna get a bubbler? Well, I got a bubbler. After the last video, I actually broke the bowl, the slide of my bomb. So what I did was I actually went to Happy Blaze Box and I ordered one of their boxes. I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't pay me or anything. I'm just letting you guys know. I got the Happy Blaze Box. I got this bubbler and I got all kind of other goodies, which I'll put pictures of right here. You know, check them out if you want. So I've really been waiting to review this company. This is Shade Tree Hemp Co. I don't know if you heard about it. It was started by a fellow Redditor, a really cool guy. He's very active in the community. He's the co-founder of this company, Shade Tree Hemp Co. Their stuff looks really good, and I've been hearing all about it. It's supposed to be really high in terpene. Here's the box, discreet, doesn't say anything about hemp. We open it up. First thing, we got a notice to law enforcement. We got some test results. We got some cool stickers, they're actually pretty thick. So like nice vinyl stickers, that's cool. Shade Tree Hemp Company. And this is what, man, look at this. I think this is so awesome, it's so unique. I haven't seen any other company do anything like this. Now I got three strains right here. I think it's all the strains they have at the moment. We got Benny, Kentucky Wine, and Sweet Leaf. Now I don't know much about any of these strains, so I'm just gonna choose based on the lab results. Whatever one's first is first. Let's see. Looks like we got Benny is first. Benny comes in at uh, 0.5 THC, 12.4 CBD. And the terpene percentage is pretty high. So let's we'll see. We got Benny. And these have no smell. These are completely sealed. So I'm going to have to break the seal. Still no smell. There we go. Okay. So the Benny has kind of a dank, sweet pine smell to it. Kind of almost smells like bubble gum a little bit. Nice size nug. All right, now let me give it a little inspection. Let's see. The trim is adequate. It's not a super tight trim, but it's it's a it's a sufficient and definitely you know a good enough trim. Don't see anything yellow, dry or anything. That's that's just a, that's just a really pretty nug right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a high resolution image of the Benny here. Check that out. All right, now, before I go any further, Shade Tree is a small, small-scale company. It's only ran by a couple people. And from what I see online and on Reddit and everything, they really do a lot to show that they care and appreciate their customers. Uh, as far as I know, all this flower is outdoor grown. It looks pretty good. I got the bowl ready full of Benny. Let's go for it. Okay, that was relatively smooth. I don't get very much for flavor. It kind of tastes like hemp. It's pretty smooth on the throat. Um, I don't have much to say other than that. Let me go ahead and finish this and I'll come back to you in about five minutes once it kicks in and I'll let you know how I feel. All right, I'm back. My thoughts are that this is a very mellow, uh, probably just good all day strain. It's very mellow, very subtle. Um, I think this is just one of those strains where the CBD is just kind of behind the scenes working. I don't really feel any mood change or anything. I don't feel sedated. I don't feel energized. I pretty much feel the same 
but I can feel the CBD, if that makes sense. Uh, this is definitely one of those strains for people that want a less potent effect and something a little bit more subtle. And this is probably a good strain for those that are very sensitive to cannabinoids. With that said, um, I don't have any complaints about it. There's nothing negative that I have to say about it. So it's gonna get the Shabazz seal of approval. If you want a very subtle, mellow, all day kind of strain, I think that'll work for you. Next up is the Kentucky Wine. Kentucky Wine comes in at 0.54% THC, 14% CBD. Kentucky Wine, let's get that seal off. Kentucky wine, I hate to say this, but I feel that my, my first impression on this is that it's not done curing. This strain is also higher in the terpenes. I still smell some chlorophyll. I just, I feel like it is not done curing. Nice, pretty nut, it looks good. <sighs> Get my inspection going. I don't see any seeds. Uh, this is a more of a loose, airy nug structure. So the trim isn't super tight, but it's good enough for you know the kind of nug structure it is. It doesn't have big callus calyxes or anything. So the butt, it looks good. It just is severely lacking in what I would consider a, a, any kind of good smell. It, it doesn't smell bad. That's the thing. It just doesn't smell good. It's kind of like if you smell some chicken cooking that doesn't have any seasoning. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. It doesn't, it doesn't make you say, mm, I want that. Um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in the cure drawer for a few weeks and see how that can improve. I'm gonna go ahead and put a high resolution image of the Kentucky wine here. Okay, so as I, as I was breaking down the Kentucky wine, A, it was very sticky, and B, a lot more smell came out when I did that, which tells me that my suspicion is right, the cure isn't finished. If all the odor and all the good aroma is locked up inside, all that with all the oil and everything, that means it needs to cure longer, let that all come out, do its thing. But it was, it was moderately sticky and resinous on the inside of the flowers. Here we go. pretty smooth. It actually doesn't taste very bad considering the cure. It actually, you know what, this tastes better than it smells. It's a little harsh. It's more harsh than the Benny. And that's because of the cure. I'll tell you that right now. Let me finish this bowl and I'll come back to you in five minutes and let you know how I feel. All right, I'm back. This made me think. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking, man, another good rating system that I could do is gas or pass. Is it gas or am I gonna pass? <laughs> Just, I might implement that later on. The, the seal of approval is to, anyways. This one is a little bit more noticeable than the Benny. I can actually, I can feel this one a little bit more. Just a touch kind of sedating, a little bit of pressure behind the eyes. Nothing too crazy, nothing overwhelming. I would still classify this as an all day strain. It's pretty good overall. It's just the cure is unfinished on that. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and let that cure for a few weeks and see how I feel about it afterwards. I have a feeling it's gonna improve. Last but not least, we have a sweet leaf. The sweet leaf comes in at 0.6% THC, 15% CBD. So this is the highest CBD out of all of them. Wow, okay, now this one has total terpenes, 4%. That's pretty high. So if the cure is right on the sweet leaf, it should have a very pungent smell. Let me go ahead and break the seal and find out. Mm. This one's definitely the most pungent out of the three, definitely. The 
This one reeks of gasoline. Almost the only thing that I can smell in here is gasoline, diesel. I don't know why it's called sweet leaf, because it's good. Mm. Yeah. Mm, even out of the bag, very gassy. Need to give this strain another name, call it like unleaded 87 or something. Anyways, let's give my little inspection. No seeds. The trim is adequate. The trim's a little bit loose on this. The trim could be a little bit tighter. But it's, it's not, it's not like unsatisfactory. Same kind of airy bus structure. It's definitely sticky though. And ooh, does it smell good. Ooh, this smells extremely gassy. And just spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a high resolution image of the sweet leaf here. Super sticky. I can barely get it off my fingers. My fingers are just, whew, man, I'm anxious to try this. All right. First impression. It's a little bit harsh. Okay, I kind of burned my throat on the way down. Which is, a, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. I was hoping that this would just be perfect because it's sticky, it's resinous, it smells bomb, it looks good, but it's a little harsh. Is that a, a disqualifying, terrible attribute? No. Let me finish this bowl and find out what kind of effects it gives, and I'll make my final judgment. I'll see you in five. All right, I'm back. The feeling I have from this, I can describe it most as kind of pressure up here. It's not super subtle, it's not super potent or prominent, but I can feel it. The only issue that I have with this flower is that it is so harsh. Other than that, it's great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is another all day strain. It's not super uplifting, it's not sedative. I don't feel like I can't get anything done. Um, this is definitely something I'll smoke in the daytime or the evening. Now, can I give it my seal of approval? Let's go over this. It looks good. It smells bomb. It's sticky, high in terpenes, high in CBD, but it's really harsh on the throat. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend this flower for those who vape, because if you vape it, I know that's gonna take that harshness away. It's a little harsh for the smoke. I'm gonna give it my seal of approval because I like it and because it is bomb as long as you don't directly smoke it. If you vaporize this flower, there will be nothing wrong with it. I'm sure it tastes really good in the vape. It's just really harsh on the throat, but it smells incredible. I hate to say anything negative about this company, because like I said, the guy who started it is a really good guy. He's very active in the community. I can tell he really cares, but he literally just started this company. I mean, like a month or two ago, there's a learning curve. I have a feeling 2020 is going to be a great year for Shade Tree. I'm sure they're probably going to have some new strains. They're going to have you know a little bit more experience in the curing and harvesting and the cultivation of everything. Keep a lookout for Shade Tree in 2020. I'm serious. Anyway, guys, that's the review. Before I do my usual outro, I have to say I am launching merch. Okay, I have a Teespring shop. I have hemp merchandise that is available now. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Go check that out. Anything you buy, the proceeds come right back to the channel. Helps me buy hemp, um, whatever, camera equipment, memory cards, whatever I have to do to bring this content to you. So check out the merch. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great new year. I appreciate all of you for taking my opinion into consideration. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. Stay tuned for the next video.